6,300 miles of cabling, eight tons of emulsion paint, and over 110,000 man working hours, all to make this place happen. This is Ted Worth House, and it only costs help for heroes one pound a year to rent. Let's go and find out where the money's really spent. In the Phoenix Centre, we have a strength and conditioning area, a games hall for team sports, Swim X, which is like a one-man swimming pool with jets, so you can exercise in water, and Ski Flex, where you can learn to ski. When I look at what the gym can deliver, it's probably one of the best gyms in the south of England, if not Britain. I am one of the wounded, and also, in previous life, I was a relatively senior officer, so I hope I can bring, the, bring together the perspective of a relatively senior bloke from the military uh, and one of the wounded and bring those experiences to here and see things not from the perspective of an organisation trying to help but from the perspective of the people we're trying to help. We also provide a place to which people can come back who have left the army, some of many of whom won't have disabilities, they may not have been wounded, but it's a place where many of the military charities have worked where they can have support and help and it's a place which their families can come to for support and help too because so often it's not the soldier who will stick his hand up and accept he has a problem, it's the families or sometimes it's the families who have the problem and we're here for all those people. The day generally runs from 10 o'clock in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That doesn't sound much but actually if you've been in hospital a long time or you haven't been well, that's probably the most that you can cope with. Some of the guys we've had here have been at home for quite some time. They've got low self-esteem their confidence is not, uh, not good, and it's much better for them to be back into a group. So I think that's the key thing. They are all together, they bounce off each other, they get ideas from each other, and you know everybody gets pulled along by that, and that's really very encouraging. The Phoenix Centre is open to all wounded, injured and sick, whether they're serving or whether they're veterans. There's some very specialist equipment that needs a little bit of assistance for people to use, like an anti-gravity treadmill, but all through to the basic equipment that you'd find in any of the top-end health clubs throughout the country. Sport has many benefits if you're wounded, injured or sick. It includes physical benefits like developing strength and coordination. Uh, there are also some psychological benefits like developing self-confidence and uh, self-esteem and there are some social benefits as well, particularly when you play team sports because you get back into a team, which is something that uh, the guys did before they were injured. It's essentially a physical development programme that helps people maintain a healthy lifestyle through sport and other physical activities. Some will have very clear ideas about what they'd like to do in terms of work, and for some it's a big exploration journey that we're working with them on over the next few days. The tests and assessments that we use and the one-to-one -one interviews look at identifying the strengths of those people and what they're going to be suited to in terms of their aptitudes, taking those transferable skills into the civilian workplace. I was suffering with depression. Uh, come to the house, didn't speak to nobody. Just. Just keep myself to myself. Uh, now I got to know a lot of people. Start mingling with the boys, you know, and all the staff. And um, they kind of, I don't know, changed me. I just cheered up and I wasn't so depressed anymore. The support hub are brilliant here. They've kind of uh, helped me out. Since I've left the army, they've helped me out big time. The Support Hub is a collection of charities, agencies and organisations that partner together to help Help for Heroes deliver direct support to our individuals that come into all four recovery centres. Anybody that's a member of the Band of Brothers or the Band of Sisters, both serving and veterans. And we're not just providing them support whilst they're in the recovery centres, it's if they need it for life. Just walking through the door you feel cared about straight away because you know, someone's gone to a lot of effort. And then the support that's going on with the classes and the courses and the gym. You know, you couldn't want for a better place to come and, and recover and get better and pretty much rebuild your life from scratch again. inspire, enable and support. They're the key goals of what goes on here at Tedworth House and the key goals of the team that work from here. When the guys come from either Headley Court or a civilian hospital, they've made their recovery physically or are on the road to, but Tedworth House helps them mentally. It helps them with the progression in their careers, be it on civilian streets or back into the military. It's very much a one-stop shop. Everything that you need 
will be here. And let's not forget that the guys now are young, but they will grow old and they'll need the support, not just now, but throughout their lives. And we will always be here to pick you back up and help you out again.